and welcome back to Music Free Gaming. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. It is a fun and beautiful Saturday morning, and we've got some fun stuff to do. I'm going to be back in uh, my growing, going green world, modded uh, Minecraft, create mod, all that fun stuff. So let's just go ahead and jump right into that. I don't have any really special announcements, so here we are. <laughs> here we are. All right, so, ah, uh, yes, the farmer's life. You know, there is something to be said for about uh, being a, a farmer where the machines do all the work and you don't have to do anything. I, I'm, I'm down with that. Uh, but what I'm going to be working on today is I need to start getting setting up factories for food right i need cows i need sheep i need pigs right all that stuff and i need to figure out where i want to put it and i kind of have an idea of what i want the uh factories to look like so now it's just a matter of you know figuring out where they're gonna go and all that stuff so they're gonna be fairly small but it would be kind of nice if they were kind of close up here to power. Now that I think about it, right? So I've got, let me, uh, I was going to free cam up here just a little bit, but you can see this, uh, oh, chicken. This is rotational power coming up from the, uh, I think this is coming up from the power plant. Let me just double check this. Yeah, because that's going this way, and then this way. Yeah, that's all tied into the, the steam plant. So that's going to provide me all the power I need. I just need to get it to wherever it is I want it to go. Now, where do I want it to go? That's the next question. I think I want it to be over here somewhere, because that's a thing. But... I don't know quite where. Now, this house doesn't have to stay here. This is kind of what's left of this, the village that was up this way. I mean, I still have that one house down there, which I think is going to uh, go away in the not too distant future. Plus, I think, as I've been looking at this, I think I actually want to build this up into a like a greenhouse or something. I don't know. Just kind of feels like I need a little bit of something going on over here. But anyway, aminals. Where to put the aminals? Now, I had originally thought that maybe I'd put them here. But as I've been thinking about that a little bit, I don't know that I like that area. So these farms aren't going to be particularly tall. So I was originally thinking I, w I would want to, like a to be building something that was going to have a little bit of a drop shaft and some other stuff like that. And I don't really need that. So we're going to come up here and do some other things, I think. Now, the other place that could be interesting is over here. And I'm kind of leaning this way just because it's a nice little area. It's fairly, I can get power here fairly quickly and easily, right? Coming through here. So, so yeah, I think that's going to be the way to go. Um, yeah, because like I said, I can pull power straight from this coming through here so all right so if i can get power through here let's go ahead and dig this out yeah because i think this is going to work out okay maybe definitely definite maybe um all right because what's on the other side of this hill that puts it right over there all right that's not too bad, I think. Because, yeah, the, otherwise, because this power comes straight up, the uh, 
horizontal stuff is way down here. So, and that's fine. It's just low. Okay. All right. So if I want to come out this way, let's bring this down just a little bit. Oh, it's the elevator shaft. That's cool. And we'll come through here. Um, so, well, through an egg. It happens. There's a frog out there that's... Uh... Oh, hey, there's a dark spot. That's not good. All right. So that comes out that way. That's not too bad, in fact, because I could use that space... Okay, because so I've got a couple of, there are a couple of things that's going to be an interesting challenge, and I don't know quite how I want to deal with it yet. So we're going to, uh, we're going to deal with what we've got and then move on. So I guess it doesn't matter. Um. Yeah, I think we'll go this way and we'll just run power out here. Okay, the good news is I don't think the direction of the rotation for the elevator is gonna make any difference. So I can tap in here with a uh, with a gearbox and we should be fine. All right, all right, so that's gonna work, I think. Fairly certain. You know, every once in a while, it's like, is this going to work? Yeah, I think so. I think we're going to be okay. So after some random deliberations, I've said I'm going to put the animal factories or the animal farms over here and hope that they don't, the animals don't decide that they are more equal than others. Um, and I think this is a nice area. I've got a little spot you can kind of see right there. That's going to allow me to hook up to the main power system so I can power some of the create mod machines that are going to help make this farm happen. Um, and then I've got to figure out a couple of other fun goodies to uh, make this all work and also apparently get moved around by my saws. All right, so let's figure out where this is all going to go. All right, so step one um all right step one is i'm gonna need a gearbox all right and we'll just go ahead i'm gonna tap in right here so this needs to be a vertical gearbox all right cool all right so we'll run some power this way All right, and let's, I hope my elevator still works because it's gonna make this a lot easier if it does. Oops. All right, put everything back. All right, nice. Nice, all right, so we're gonna bring this this way, you know, I think we just had a trader show up in a really unfortunate spot. Yeah, because, it, you know, the, uh, the saws do damage. <laughs> they do. They absolutely do damage. And I wonder if the trader showed up in front of the farm or maybe even right inside it and got all choppy choppy. That's a distinct possibility. Okay, well, you know, these things happen. Okay, so if I'm gonna run power here, you know what? They're sort of in the way. Kind of, sort of. Yeah. And that guy up there also 
Enjoy your time, llama. Okay, he's gonna spit at me, but I'm hoping that maybe... Oh. Alright, you know, maybe it was sort of the coward's way out to try to feed him to the machinery, but... Celery. All right. Let's sleep and then sleepy, sleepy. All right. I, in all honesty, I really should get a couple of things here to be sure I know how this is going to work. Do I have, um, no, let's get a, I need to go get a gearbox and, or a gearbox, a clutch and a deployer. And let's just make sure this all works the way I want it to. It's always an interesting question, isn't it? Will this work the way I want it to? Well, we'll find out. Okay. That can all go in there. Um, lever for now. Uh, but I need a clutch. Good, I've got clutches, and do I have deployers? I do not, probably for the lack of hands. All right. So let's go and craft up a couple of deployers. All right. So this is going to be, I hope, fairly straightforward. That's always the question, right? Will this be straightforward? Well, maybe. I keep thinking, and it's a mistake, because it's not, oh, I could go through that wall. Sorry, I keep thinking that I wanna put a uh, crafter or a storage interface over here. I just don't think I have the room for it, which is a little bit of an issue, but. It's not that big a deal, really, when it comes down to it. Okay? It's not. It's just not. Okay, so... Let's see. I also will probably want some carpet, but... I'll deal with that in a minute. So, we're going to have power coming out here, and that's cool. Um... So let's see what each machine is going to look like. Now, one of the challenges I'm going to have is dealing with some of the byproducts, which are, which is fine, like the leather from the cows and stuff. It's like, oh, I could use leather. And that's cool. But, you know, the, the wool. And it'll be nice to have a, a little bit of a wool farm, I suppose. But... One of the things I, I'm going to need is uh, eggs from the chickens and milk from the cows, which means the cows are going to be at, at least a little bit odd, which means I may want to put them... I may want to put them on that side just to... Or on this... I don't know. I'm going to have to deal with the cows in a weird way, but... Let's see what this is going to look like. I'm just going to build something out here. Let's. So the the plan is basically. We'd have a clutch. Actually, let's do it this way. I'd have a deployer. And rotate this. Come on. It's going to be in use mode. Um, I don't want it to face that way. I want it to face. Something like that, okay? Put a clutch on it so that it can stop. We'll put a radio, oh, whoa, okay. You know, let's just build a little ladder down this way. Okay, or a little staircase. So I can get in and out of that storage room if I need to. Okay, that, that seems reasonable. All right, so this is going to, we're going to push food into the animals. The animals are going to live. Let's grab a chute. Basically, what's, they're going to stand on top of a chute. 
Um, I could do a hopper. I'm not sure if uh, eh, shoot should be fast enough. They're not going to drop food that fast. Um, okay, so they'll be standing on top of the chute. This is going to be here doing stuff. Um, right, I'll need a gearbox or something on top of this, right? All right, it'll be a vertical gearbox, I think. Right, something along those lines, probably actually facing. Okay. Let's. Okay, probably facing like that, so I can just run power all the way across, which means that I can run up there like that. That'd be okay. And then I'll need. Um, I'll need to feed stuff into this, which actually I think is going to be, I think that's going to be easier than uh, I'm thinking. Because if I use, I think I can use this, the uh, simple storage mod to uh, feed these directly, but No, I think I want to do a little bit of difference. I don't have any of the... Let me go get my storage stuff. Because we're going to build this machine like four times, so... It should be fairly easy, I think. At least that's the, the plan. Many things will happen here. It'll be... It'll be fine. Uh, storage. Okay. Do I want to bring the redstone box? I don't know. I really should think about maybe making an ender chest. <laughs> you know? Actually, what would be better would be to, to uh, build a wireless dealy bob. Something that I can build wireless storage from, you know? But that's going to involve raiding the uh, Nether Fortress in fun and exciting ways. All right. So storage. So if I grab... Let's say I've got a double chest. I'll put a hopper feeding in here. I can run the, the storage mod into the chest, which is fine. Hey, Morgan, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Hope your day is going well. Right, so that'll feed in there. I'll run the storage mod into this somehow, some way. I'll worry about that in a, in a minute, but... Okay, and then that'll be powered through there. Yeah, and then it's just a matter of making decorating this so it looks fairly reasonable. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. It's a fine Saturday morning here, and it's nice to be able to spend it playing some Minecraft. Even though I'm about to set up a factory farm that would make uh, PETA really, really upset, but I'm kind of okay with that. All right. Yeah, I like this idea. I think this is going to work out well for most of the animals. It's just going to be interesting to see how the uh, chickens and stuff behave. Um, I'm going to need... Oh, this one. I don't have the redstone links. But, yeah. I. In fact, I may bring in... I don't know. I'll have to take a look and see where the storage is. That's facing the wrong way, but it's okay. So we'll do something like that. We'll throw a radio link on the side. Um, yeah, that should be fine. And yeah, this should be okay. All right. Nice. Cool. Let's go put that back and... I think 
I guess I should have brought my redstone chest with me because that would have made sense. All right, and then we'll get down. We'll start building something. <laughs> we'll figure out how we're going to make this uh, this meat factory behave, right? And then I can start moving some animals into it, which is going to be its own special breed of fun, I got to tell you. All right. Redstone. Cool. Do I need my toolbox? Probably not. All right. So I've got a couple of mods. This is primarily create mod. Let's get up, up to the farm. It's primarily create mod. It's also the farmer's delight mod. And that is create slice and dice, which is the bridge between the two. And so create mod is what gives me all of the automatic harvesting. And uh, where's my bed? Bed, bed, bed. My goal for this, this series is to automate the production of every food in the Create, Slice, and Dice. And I think uh, also, I may also include all, I think I will include all of the Minecraft recipe, vanilla Minecraft recipes as well. So there's something like 90 something recipes in between um, the Farmer's Delight, things like hamburgers and popsicles and stuff. And yeah, and then of course cakes and pies and all that other stuff. So, so yeah, it's it's fun. And right now, everything on this side, these are all vegetable farms. These are tomatoes, got rice, potatoes and carrots and wheat and all that good stuff. And then of course, uh, well you can saw those dark oak trees pop up. Got tree farms happening out here. So, yeah, automation is fun. I like automation. So. All right, let's uh, grab a few more shafts here. And we're just gonna run them across that way. Now, none of this is gonna be directional, so I don't think that's gonna be an issue. Okay, yeah, I think this is gonna work out. So let's see then, where do I wanna put, I'm gonna drop that down there. Um. Do I need some gearboxes? Oh, I've got them all in my inventory. Ah, okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so it's a nice little um nice little thing. I did a create mod series where I just tried to automate the snot out of everything. And oh yeah, you can automate the snot out of everything. <laughs> there are a few things you can't get. Diamonds, for example, you can't automate netherite. But you can automate, let me zip over here on free camp for a minute. My little factory over here, let's, I'm automating gold and quartz and, you know, andesite, because you need a lot of andesite in create mod. So yeah, it's, it's fun. I love this stuff, so. But I needed a series where I had a little bit more of a goal than what I had before. Um, because what I had was was nice, but... All right, I'm going to see if I can do these right next to each other. But yeah, I started to get to a point. It's like, what am I going to build next? I have no clue. Oh, I can't build them right next to each other because the radios are going to interfere... And I don't mean in an RF sense, I mean in a redstone sense. Okay, so we're gonna bring this. If I do, yeah, let's do two blocks in between. So slap that. No, let's do three. Um, and we'll just do three because it'll, uh, odd numbers are, are fun. The catch is, how much room am I going to have? So I've got, there are, what, four animals? Cows, chickens, pigs, and sheep. So, let's make sure I've got the space for this here. Otherwise, I may have to move. All right, one, two, three. No, oh, where's my wrench? That goes there. All right. And, cool. 
All right, I live here now. Um, yeah, because because this seems like a good place to live. Smooth, man. All right. I just want to stick this out a couple of blocks so I can get another thing. Three. And then three. That puts me right here, which I think... Come on, take it out. Thank you. Do it. You can do it. All right. So that'll give me the four farms. I don't think I'm going to interfere with the spruce farm much. Um, I could come back this way one block if I wanted to, or a couple blocks even, uh, which might be the way to go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Yeah, I think... If you get ready for the day. Yeah, no, it makes sense. Oh, yeah, automation is great. I'm a big fan of that, so. So, yeah. But I hope your, the rest of your day goes well. Whatever else you've got planned. And, uh, yeah. All that good stuff. All right, so this is going to go there. All right, nice. Yep, so we'll just... That's not a shaft. Nope, no, nope, not even a little bit. Is it a shaft? Okay. Yeah, so we'll just slide it over one, and I can dig out some space this on this side for, uh, for room if I need to. But that'll just give me a little bit more space to deal with uh, all of the uh, spruce. Cool. So I think I've got a couple of deployers. Let's go ahead and craft up a couple more, which uh, I'm going to have to head down to the... Back to the workshop to do. No, I don't. I don't have to go down to the workshop. Because I set up a... Uh, I gave myself console access up here. All right. I do need a couple of brass hands. Let's just build three of them. I think it'll deploy her. All right, nice. Yeah, Tom Simple Storage Mod makes uh, all of that inventory stuff so much nicer. Okay. And I said I don't have any hoppers, but I'll get to those in a little bit. But we should be okay. Yeah, this is pointing the wrong way, but... So this is basically... This is basically what these machines are going to look like. We'll have the deployer here. We'll have a clutch on top. That's going to power the deployer as well as be able to turn the machine on and off. This will be the main line. And then we've got a chest for the food storage, like wheat or seeds or carrots or whatever we need for the animals. And while this is backwards, um, I will be using a hopper from the simple storage mod to pull all of those veggies uh, out of the system here. And I've got set up here all of the vertical gearboxes, and that's where each module is going to install. So let's get started. Ah, excuse me, my throat, throat got all froggy morning voice there. Oh, man. Water is awesome. All right. Oh, and I think let's get some... Let's get some carpet. Uh, do I have... Let's see if I have wool. I might. It's always a question. Do I have wool? Yes, I've got a little bit. Let's craft up some red wool. Okay. And grab some carpet. Sweet. All right. Yeah, this is going to... This is going to work out okay. I th I'm fairly certain. So, let's grab these. Now, I am building these down here where I can't really reach, but... It's okay. But 
thought about time lapsing this, but the reality is this is going to be su such a short time lapse. That I think it's worth it. Okay. Got the flying fickle finger of fate going on here. Okay. Nice. So they are ready to uh, deal with all of the animals. Now, I would like to... Uh, hop up on the thing there. That would be great. Cool. Okay. Guess I just have to point at the hand. All right. And same with you. All right. Nice. Except I need to move these out one block. Because the deployers actually deploy two blocks ahead. Okay, they don't deploy on the block next to them, they deploy out a block. Oh, excuse me. Nice. And we'll get up here and I want to roll out the red carpet for the animals. The red might not have been the best choice, but it's a choice. <laughs> It's definitely a choice. Uh, given that, that we're going to be dealing with uh, animals dying, maybe the red is the right choice. Uh, you know, sometimes you just question yourself and realize that maybe yourself is not the... Uh, as, uh, I don't know, something. I, I had a thought. It disappeared. It happens. All right, so let's grab these storage toolbox and some chests. All right. Okay, we're gonna move down here. So I think I think we'll do it this way. So the the mob drops will drop into the chests. Okay. And then I can pull all of the stuff out of those chests as necessary. All right, except those are facing the wrong way. That's cool. All right, let's try this again, this time with feeling. All right, so, so that's gonna go in like that. Nice. All right, so then what we need to do is start Dealing with everything else is get the rest of the storage in place. Yeah, which is going to be, yep. I guess I put those chests away too soon. You know, it, it happens. Also, I don't have any hoppers. That seems like a serious mistake. It's all right. We'll get some hoppers. All right, so I'm gonna need some double chests. This. Okay. Nope. All right. Uh, do I have? I do have scaffolding. Cool. We'll just run some scaffolding across this way. All right. Gonna fall off the scaffolding because that seems like a fun thing to do too. All right. So we'll run that that way. Okay, all the way through the scaffolding. Okay, and then this last one. All right, nice. Let's uh, get a couple of hoppers. All right, hopper, hopper, hopper. Cool. That should do it. Now, I think this is all going to work. I know the hoppers can feed into the uh, deployers. That's not a problem. Okay. All right, so everything that's gonna come out of those chests will go there. Okay, nice. That's 
should be uh, quick and painless. I do need to clear out some space here because I'm going to need space for cabling. The cabling is going to be fun. Okay, fun might be the wrong word, but it's going to exist. That's the thing. All right. Nice, 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 nice. So there are the basic modules. I don't have any of the storage hooked up, and obviously if I try to put animals in there, they're just going to walk all over the place. So I think the next step is going to be to build up and enclose one of these areas and try to get some animals in it. And let's just, and we'll just see how this works, okay? I'm not totally convinced everything's going to behave itself, but we're going to give it a shot. All right, so what I'm going to need is, I oh, need some building blocks. I'm going to need some glass and I think some diorite might be good. So I think I want to use some of the uh, cut diorite I was using using for the floors. I think I want to continue that as, as well as some deep slate and glass and stuff. Now, yeah, this should be okay. Um, yeah, we'll be, this will be interesting. So, I wonder. Let's, do I have some redstone lamps still? Lamps. I don't, but I do now. Awesome. Um, so we've got some lamps, and let's see. Right, I need some diorite. I actually need a stone cutter. Since I don't have a stone cutter up here, cool. Grab one of those. And let's see, what else am I gonna need? Pro oh, right, glass. All right, I'm gonna grab some gray stained glass and probably something else. And you know what? I'm going to have to take a quick uh, bio break. I know, I've only been streaming for half an hour, and yes, I, I went to the bathroom before stream, but nope, my body says thou shalt pee, so I will be back in uh, just a moment. Okay, I am back. Given the way I've been going through water this morning, I, I guess I can't be too surprised. It's just annoying. All right, um, I also need some deep slate. Let's just, just grab a stack of it. Um, all right. Okay, so we're going to get... Partially it's going to be decorative, partially it's going to be um, important for life, life, life and universe and everything, something like that. I, I know what words are. All right, we're going to use some cut diorite, and we're going to use some uh, polished cut diorite. 
Okay. And then I'm going to use some uh, polished deep slate and some deep slate bricks. That'll continue with the theme I've been going with. So, right. Done with those. All right, let's uh, clean up some of this hill here. Just so that I can get through here and make sure I know what I've, this is all going to uh, look like. All right. So let's see, so we're gonna grab, let's get these sort of organized a little bit. Okay, and the redstone lamp. I do wanna test something with this redstone lamp though. So if I get, Okay, good, I do have a couple of radio links, perfect. It's always nice to test with what you're actually going to use. So this one is gonna be a, a receiver. This one's going to be a broadcaster. And do I have a lever? I don't, I should put levers in that box. Okay, lever. Cool. Cause I need levers fairly frequently. You know, it turns out they're really convenient for testing and stuff. All right, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna set a bogus signal here. Okay, cause that's not what this is gonna be, but. Okay, so that stopped, but it did not light the lamp. Okay. I mean, that's fine. It's not going to be that big a deal. Actually, you know. No, it's not gonna be that big a deal. Alright. Cool. I was kinda hoping it would, but it's not, so alright. Nice. Alright, so let's you know Well, we'll just do the one at a time. We won't worry about it. All right, so here's the plan. We're gonna start with a block here now, and then some glass coming up here. Let's uh, hop up this way. Now, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be up there apparently too securely because that would make too much sense. All right, so let's put some cut die right there polished there and and I'm going to continue the checkerboard pattern I've got downstairs that's not where that's going to go okay this is going to go like this and I actually think this is going to doesn't necessarily have to be two blocks high but I think that's going to make things a little bit nicer um and then I do need blocks coming off the sides here because I have to keep everybody in place so I mean I I could I could use the pillars but I don't think that's gonna look I don't think that's gonna look very good so let me play with this a little bit and then we'll figure out what's gonna look good yeah I don't have an idea I mean I I don't really need I mean, I kind of, but don't really need the blocks on the corners, but I think it's gonna make things a little bit nicer. So, I mean, what I could do is do the pillared crim site, but I think that's gonna be a little bit much. Just, maybe just a little bit. Uh, but I do like, Maybe I'll just do, maybe I'll just continue the glass. So you can see the diorite, right? Without having to worry about too much else. That might be okay. Yeah, that might be fine. Let's go ahead and run. Okay, and I, now I'm stuck. Okay. Yep, this hill is very slowly eroding away. It's it must be uh, geological forces, and has 
absolutely nothing to do with uh, anything I'm doing, right? Because of, uh, you know, reasons or something, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's it, reasons. Okay, so that's going to come this way. This would run across basically like this. Okay. And I could do something in the middle here too, but for now, let's just go ahead and block that off. All right. All right, all right. So now let's... Uh, Yeah, I think there's some decorative stuff that needs to happen. There's definitely some decorative stuff that needs to happen. Despite the rain, um, I think this is going to be at least a reasonable shape for these machines, okay? And the animals will drop down into these, these holding cells, right? And then we should be okay. So I think the next step is going to be to uh, wire up some storage. All right, so the storage is going to be its own special breed of fun. Again, nothing about this is going to be particularly challenging. It's just a matter of what are we going to do with it. All right, so step one is I'm going to need storage. I need some cables. Looks like I'm going to need more cables than I've got. Okay, cool. Um, right. All right, so I need cables. All the cables. That is apparently all of the cables because I need more chests. Okay, that'll work. And cables. All right, that should... Actually, that's probably enough for now. If I need more, I can craft more, but that's probably okay. All right, so now, let's see, where is a good place to bring, uh, to get, you know, tap into the storage network? Um, I could run, okay, that hits the tree network, which actually, that's sort of isolated to that, which is not going to be super helpful. I need to tap that one. Okay, so I could actually tap that line, which is connected to the uh, seeds and things. Okay. That might be able to work, coming across here like this and up. All right. Uh, except I also need to be able to do output. Uh, no, output can go to the same that same storage system. That's fine. That's sort of what that particular storage system is supposed to be for. And that's, uh, you know, all the food stuffs. That side is tree supposed to be trees. This side is supposed to be food. But the storage mod does kind of scramble things a little bit. Okay, so we're just going to knock ourselves a nice little uh, path here. Come on, let's do it. Okay, we're just going to come this way. Now, once I get into that wall, things are going to get a little more fun, but let's uh, at least, can I reach that? Okay. And what is that? That is, looks like, 420, okay, at 94. 94, that's this level right here. Okay, and we're coming into, oh, 420 is like right here. Right here, okay. So I should be coming in just about 
there. Okay. Nice. Do I want to do it there or do I actually want to move it over one? I mean, it's not going to make a huge amount of difference, perhaps, but... Yeah, we'll just go from here. All right. It saves a couple of cables, and that's not really that big a deal, to be honest. All right, so we'll just... No. Ah, all right. Scaffolding, where you go? Okay. So that's going to go there. Awesome. And we'll uh, yeah, bring the rest of this cable through this way. Listen, cable management, man. 90% of the... the uh, the uh, problems you have to solve with this. Between Create Mod and Tom Simple Storage. Okay, if I just come straight down from there, that should be okay. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. If I just come basically like this. So I want to leave that disconnected for the moment, but... I'll hook it up here in just a minute. So what I need now is storage. I need hoppers. Okay. And the way this is going to fly is we'll bring this that way and this way. All right. Now, that one actually is going to point up. And this one is going to point that way. Okay. Yeah, so that should be good. So next thing I need is... I need some filters, filter items. All right, so I'm going to need... Let's see, for this one... Let's do cows. All right, do I have signs? I should have signs. Cool, I've got signs. And I need some wheat. Okay. This should this should make sense. So I don't really have to label this, I suppose, but we're going to label this beef. Right, that might help me stay organized or something. Right, that'll be beef. Let's do... Heck, I could do this one too. This will be... Mutton. Yeah, we'll drop the sheep in there. Something. Okay. And then we'll go across to, uh, with pork and chicken. Now, the pork is going to be actually... A, there's going to be an interesting problem with that. Because pork chops are easy, but I also need ham, which is a, a slightly different, you get that in a slightly different way. Because uh, if pigs just die, they drop pork chops. That doesn't hasn't changed. But uh, ham, ham is a different story, right? Ham, oops. So ham. Not the cooked ham, just the regular ham. Um, you can carve it into pork chops, but you get it by, I think, stabbing uh, pigs with a knife. So I'm going to have to handle that one just a little bit differently here. Okay, at least that's, I think that's the... So I may have to set up a separate farm for the ham and we'll just do pork chops, I think. All right. So the first module is pretty well set up. I'm going to set up a filter so that this will get some wheat. 
So what we should start seeing, at least uh, I hope, is that we should start seeing some wheat piped up in there. At least we will once I connect the storage here like that. Okay, cool. Yeah, you can see the wheat starting to filter in. It's now loading into the hopper and being fed. And there's the deployer. It's shoving wheat into the system. Okay, fabulous. Now, what's fun then is any drops will drop in here and be fed back into the main storage system. So I guess the next step is going to be to get some cows. And that's, yeah, that's going to be a special breed of fun. Uh, excuse me. All right. So let's see what I can do about getting a few cows out here. Um, all right, let's see. Cows, cows. This is going to be a pain in the neck. All right. Now, I, I planned ahead a little bit. I have a lot of cows. But what I don't have is many of them where I need them to be. So what I might do is actually get fishing poles and use fishing pole to, or a fishing rod or something like that to get the cows where I need them to go. Something like that anyway. Now, in some ways, I guess it may not matter. Um, if I get leads, I really only, <clears throat> excuse me, I really only need two cows, so. Okay. So we'll get the, these, get ourselves a nice little uh, channel. So once the cows are in it, um, we should be okay. Um, okay. I, th something like this. Um, yeah, something like this. Let's, <clears throat> Let's see if I can get a fishing rod and some leads. And I hope I have enough uh, stuff here. Fishing rod. Oh, good. I actually have one. Convenient, that. Um, can go ahead and throw some of that in there. Leads. I've got a couple. Let's go and grab them all because it doesn't make that much difference. All right. Nice. Now things are going to get a little messy here, but we're going to try this and see. Maybe it'll work. I don't know. I haven't I haven't really used fishing rods this way, so we'll find out. Come on, doors open. Okay. Okay, so once they're in, just make sure I don't accidentally uh, drop them down into the storage. Okay. So here's the plan, such as it is. I'm going to, maybe if I hop up here, I can use a fishing rod. I might have to take that part of the house out. Okay, that's fine. Um, I could use a fishing rod To pull a cow out? Yeah, no, that's definitely going to have to get higher. All right. Much higher. Okay, come on, cow. We can do this. You and me together. Ah, uh, no. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Wheat. All right, come here, cow. We're going get to get you on the lead, and let's see if I can get you where I need you to go. You're going to drop right down there. Okay, cool. Now, follow me and let's see if you end up in a world of beef imagination. Right? There we go. Perfect. Perfect. You saw those little love hearts pop up? That means he was fed wheat. 
All right, cool. Uh, I think let's down here. I want to break this uh, storage link here for a minute so that I can get this lead back and then we can, I'll, it'll be easier to see with the testing what goes where and all that stuff. So awesome. Let's get in, get in another cow and we'll watch how this machine goes. That was actually fairly straightforward. Hey, frog hopper. Welcome. Welcome. Glad to have you back. All right. Operation factory farms are uh, well underway. All right. All right. Let's see if I can get this. Uh, get another cow out of here. I think I have to be up just a touch higher. Okay. All right. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Get you out of the lead. And here we go. All right. Just, just nudge you into the channel there. That would be awesome. All right. You could dance if you want to, but you're going to leave your friends behind because you're... No, no, this, the, no. Come on, cow. We could do this. You and me together. We're, we're okay. All right. This cow is definitely annoying. But let's see if I can get him at least there. Okay, cool. Now, you're going to come this way. Yeah, there we go. We're good. We, we're good. We got this. All right. We're just going to pull you right down, and there he goes, right in the hole. Perfect. That's where the cow belongs. Cows belong in the hole. All right, so we're getting our lead back, and what we should see... Oh, heck, you can already see the baby cow. Because what's happening is wheat's being put up here. It's being fed through the hopper into the deployer, which is using wheat on the cow or on multiple cows, actually. And you get all of the happy uh, cow love, I guess. And they breed and you get baby cow. Now, here's where things are going to get a little dark. I need the cows to die in order to collect their drops, right? Well, I don't have a defined way of killing them. Instead, I'm going to let them entity cram. And it kills the adults first. So what will end up happening is I'll get 24 cows in there. And the adult ones will die. The baby ones will get bred up. And all of their drops will end up in the chest. Again, not the most humane of cow boxes. But I think it's going to work. So I think maybe I want to maybe pull some sheep over here into the next one. And we'll see what we can do about this. All right. Also, I think I'm going to need another uh, another fishing rod, but it's okay. So that's going to go down there like that. Cool. And I am going to need to... Let's get a couple of trap doors, I think. Uh, let's see. Trap doors. Trap and doors. Let's get some spruce ones. I eh, might as well just take the whole stack. It doesn't make that much of a difference. But I do need to uh, put the trap doors, at least over the cows. Take this down, I think. I need at least the trap doors over the cows so that the when the sheep come through, they don't fall in there with the cows. Okay. Just seems seems reasonable, right? Also, I should probably think about setting up the rest of the storage over here, which would be cool, too. Um, all right. Just everything goes away. And da, 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 some cable and some hoppers. Cool. All right. So same dealie bob here. 
we're going to where's my uh yep that's pointing the right way and we're going to this is sheep so we're going to filter this for wheat as well all right yeah this is going to make all the sense in the world all right hopper goes in that direction but i'm going to break it for for now for testing and uh let's bring this cable over this way Turns out storage mod's really useful for automation. Okay, so this guy should be, yeah, he's loading up on wheat now. This is why I set up a couple of wheat farms. Is uh figure I was gonna need them. All right, so next thing I need to do is let's get some guardrails up for the sheep. And I need more dirt. It happens. Fortunately, I've got my storage system right here. So we're good. Dirt. Just grab another stack. Should be fine. Oh, right. Uh, fishing rod. Get that out of there. Rod? Hole? What do they call it? Yeah, fishing rod. Oh, okay. Fishing. I'm missing sticks and string. Cool. String. Oh, only have one. Cool. Did you do it? Did you ever do Minecraft 100 days? I mean, I could, but I tend to be in a world longer than 100 days anyway, so. Okay, we need more wool. Shears. I mean, heck, my, uh, um, my hardcore world started as a uh, 100 days in hardcore. Turns out I live 1,200. <laughs> Something like that, so. All right. Heck, this world, <clears throat> this world's on day 548, so, you know. But I'm not a speedrunner. I never have been. So, all of those fun little speedrun tasks, it's like, well, you know, they exist. But that's not how I enjoy playing Minecraft, so... It's like, oh, I could do 100 days in Minecraft, but I, where would I be? I'd have a probably a villager breeder and an iron farm, you know? <laughs> yeah, no. That's not going to happen. I said, I, I don't like to speed run. Okay. So we got some sheep. Some sheep. Yeah, I just I'm just not the type to go rushing my way through uh through Minecraft, so. Alright, let's head down to the workshop, we'll get some string. I forgot which machine I need to do. String. Strong is is not quite the same. Oh, okay. Just crushing wheel. Awesome. That will work. Let's go crush some string. All right, so we'll, um, you know, maybe I'll keep the white wool, we'll crush up just the brown. All right, bingo, string. And this is why I don't have a spider farm. Honestly, I think that's something that should be in vanilla Minecraft is uh, 
just the ability to get string from wool. Okay, so let's grab a second fishing rod because I'm almost well, certainly going to need it. All right, so where we be at here? Come up here to the farms and okay. Now, just a quick double check. Oh, yeah. See, the cows are all growing up here. I think the babies are getting fed as well. I could be wrong. But they might be being fed as well, so they grow up faster. Not entirely sure. But let's go ahead and get some sheep. And that means I got to get back up on the roof. Uh, I need some wheat. All right. Now, let's see if I can get actual sheep and not more cows. All right. Awesome. Hey, sheep. Come here, silly. Let's get you in someplace nice. I know. You're just dealing with wet wool here. Oh, I forgot to put the trap door in place. Um... Cool. Did I forget to craft the trap doors? All right, well, that's gonna ha that sheep is just gonna hang out there for a minute. Let's see if I actually got the trap doors. Trap doors. Oh, I've got them. I've got them. I just lost them in my inventory. I swear, I lose more things in my inventory than I probably have any right to, you know? All right, let's uh, slap a trap door down. Okay. All right, where'd the sheep go? Hello, sheep. Where'd you go? It's around here somewhere. Did it end up somewhere else? Oh, heck, I wasn't even ready to get the sheep in in the first place. Because I didn't finish putting the walls up. Okay. Yeah, I gotta keep keep everyone in line, right? All right. Well, I was hoping um, to go someplace safe. No, but it's okay. Which mod am I using for which? Because primarily I'm using create mod and Tom's uh, all right, Tom Simple Storage and um, Farmer's Delight. But I do have a few client side mods as well. Okay, so much for that fishing rod. All right, let's try this again. This time with feeling. Hi. You're going to come with me. All right. No, no, come on. Get in there, you silly sheep. All right, nice. Oh, hey, there's the other sheep. Cool. Uh-oh. I almost left a hole open. All right, you guys, you guys get in there. We good? I'm just going to continue to pull. No, no, seriously, both of you can can drop down the hole. Yeah, you too. No, we're good, right? We're, we're good. I think we're good. All right. I've got sheep in the farm. So I'm just going to put a cap on that one now too. All right, sweet. We have sheep. We have cows. Look, we have baby sheep. Oh, this is wonderful. should also try just to be sure um, to get a some white sheep in there. I guess I can re-dye brown wool, so it doesn't make that much of a difference. So I have no idea what color that uh, shaved sheep is, but really, I don't think it's going to matter. All right. So, 
Okay, so all the machinery and stuff. The uh, machinery stuff is create mod. And uh, that's what's that's what powers all of the automation is create. Okay, this is definitely working here. We've got uh, more than a few cows. Okay. Cool. We're just going to force feed them till they explode, and then I will collect all of their cow droppings. That just, that sounds bad. Uh, there's nothing about that sounds good, really. Uh, yeah, we're going to force feed these animals till they explode and then collect their droppings um, and then serve it to you on a plate. Yeah, that doesn't sound good at all, but hey, that's how apparently we're doing it here at the Music Free Farms, but... <sighs> okay, anyway, let's... Uh... Maybe force feed some more animals. <laughs> okay. It's all good. It's all good. No, oh, it's all good. Yep, yeah, I'm just going to rely on uh, entity cramming mechanics to make all of this function. So, nothing too bizarre for the killing systems. But yeah, it is going to be an issue for uh, for the pigs. If I want ham instead of pork chops, then I'm going to have to deal with that in some way. Okay, yeah, that goes there and there. All right. We got this. It's all good. Uh, whoa, falling. Okay, yep. Breeding up some sheep. Yeah, I think I might have ended up grabbing two brown sheep. Which is okay. Said in... At least in uh, vanilla Minecraft, it is perfectly normal now to be able to re-dye wool. Can't necessarily re-dye anything else, but you can... You can re-dye wool, which is... Awesome. All right, so the next things, what do I want to do next? I guess I can do, I guess we'll do pork chops, pork chops, and then we'll do chicken. All right. Cool, cool. All right, this should be, I, I think this will be reasonably easy. I mean, the last ones were at least marginally smooth. Okay. Do have to be a little bit careful because the chickens are small enough. I have to be sure I block all of the... All of their spaces off. All right. And I think I want to... Um, And I think I'm going to want to do something here too, but let's see, so sheep are gonna go there. Where am I at? I covered up covered up that hole. It should not be covered up. Alright. Nice. So we're gonna have all the space for all the cows. Now the one drawback is this is gonna generate a lot of, of XP entities, which is Okay, I suppose, but can I? All right, I did not set all the radio links up. I guess I'll do that in a bit, but <sighs> all right, cool. So the next thing I'm going to need is uh, carrots, I guess, for the, the uh, pigs. All right, so let's go ahead and dump... So with the grass, I'm not going to need. I guess I'm done with the wheat. Um, and the red carpet. Awesome. And now let's grab some carrots. All right, because I'm going to need those for a couple of reasons. And I've got some seeds. I should take a look, actually. Um... Okay, because I've got a lot of seeds. I guess it'll be wheat seeds that I'll throw in at the chickens, which will be okay. 
All right, you then. Just bring this this cable all the way over this way. Yeah. To right here. Am I in the right spot? Yes, I am. All right, cool. All right, now I need some hoppers like that one. It's going that way. This one gets carrots. All right, so now that should start filling up with carrots. Perfect. And then this one, we'll just do wheat seeds. I could do some other seeds here too, but like I could do the beetroot seeds and stuff, but I think just loading up with the wheat seeds will be sufficient. Okay, now let's, let's grab some temporary blocks here for a minute. Okay, so I do want to set these, at least put the hoppers in place, even though I'm not going to connect them yet. All right, nice. So, it's the pig's turn. Now, before I get too crazy with these pigs, okay, I do want to breed them up a little bit because... All right, there's that pig and there's that pig. So I only have three pigs. So if I manage to kill one in this process, I'm still okay. All right, let's see if I can maybe drag these pigs over this way. All right. All right. All right, boys and girls, it is time to do some pig fishing. That's right. That's a cow. That is a cow. Uh, that's also a cow. Okay, I don't care about that cow. Let's grab this pig. Come on, little piggy. That's a cow. That's a cow. I just caught a grip of cow. Gonna fish for some pigs. Because the swine's what I need. Come here. Let's grab some happy pigs. No? No, look, guys. I, I need you to be out this way, okay? Okay, can we do that for me, please? Do we, we can, can we do that? Probably not. All right. Let's go. I'm going to need another fishing rod. And let's go get some more pigs. And we got some leather and we got some some steak. So okay. Oh <sighs> yeah, no, this is all gonna work out splendidly. Alright. So that's gonna go in there. I need another fishing rod. Alright. This is gonna I'm almost certain this is going to work, maybe. In fact, the pigs are getting caught on the carpet. It's probably not ideal. Um, let's go take that out. All right. Let's make with the cow fishing. Or, except we're fishing for pigs. Let's make with the pig fishing. Okay, come on out. That's right. Here, little piggy. This is not... Okay. I think, he, I think he's hooked. See if I can get him up and out of the... There he goes. Come here, pig. Hi. All right. Got you. Let's get you in place. All right, yeah, you're going to just slide right on over in the hole. Yep, Pinky, get in the hole. All right, nice. Drag him right on over here and into the pig slot. That's right, get down there, Piggy. 
All right, he's. I think he's down. Yes, perfect. All right, looks like I need to sleep. Whoa, whoa. I didn't get him all the way down. Come here, pig. That's right. Get ourselves uh, good there. Oh, he's in. Um, sort of bouncing up and down, but he's definitely in. Okay. All right, you just stay down there. I'm going to sleep, and then we'll deal with the rest of the companion pigs. Yeah, I actually should uh, maybe breed him up and make sure. Yep, these cows are going. I think I just have brown sheep here is all that is. And that's okay. That's definitely fine. Um, I'm going to juggle my tools because that seems like a thing to do. All right, let's see. I, this piglet is probably not grown up yet, right? We still have, okay. Oh, this one's just not ready to breed yet. Okay. Come on, grow up pig. No, you're not gonna grow up? Okay. I'm sure it'll grow up in a minute. Let's, uh, let's go get some more carrots. We'll go down this way. It's all good. <sighs> now, this is going to be all the... Yeah, make all the sense in the world. Yeah, because basically what I'm wanting to do is uh, breed up... So I've got another couple of pigs here. Um, that way, again, there they go. Make it a baby pig. Perfect. All right. Let's see if I can get one of these happy little piggies outside of the pen. Perfect. All right. And then out you go. Wonderful. Hi, piggy. We got you. And I only need to worry about getting two of them into the into the machine because after the two, um, come come on down. That's right. You want to be you want to be down. Yeah, because once I've got the two of them in there, the machine will breed them up. Because that's. That's really what these are, is these are just animal breeders that then use the crushing mechanics to get the the rest of the, or well, basically to kill the pigs to get the drops. Okay, cool. All right, so let's go and break the lead. Okay. All right. Haven't heard the joyous screams of cows yet, but we're probably getting close. That Those cows are definitely uh, starting to get full there. Same with the sheep. Sheep are getting, uh, starting to get them bred up, which is gonna be nice. Pigs are in place. Cool, so let's get another trap door. There's the trap doors. Cool. All right. Okay, so that'll block those pigs. The next bit of fun is gonna be the chickens. And one of the things I'm gonna be really curious about with these chickens is, uh, first off, let's go ahead and breed up a few more chickens. Come here, chickens. Okay. Uh, the thing I'm going to be really curious about with these chickens is how many of their eggs I end up collecting. Okay. Did that wrong. It's okay. 
Come here. All right, here we go. Doing some uh, chicken fishing. Of course, the cows are sort of in the way, but aha! There we go. We got our first uh, friend, the little chicken. Let's get you in the farm now. Yeah. <laughs> Because nothing bad is going to happen to you there. No, 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 nothing at all. They're going to love it. They're going to totally love it. All right, let's get this chicken into the farm. Oh, yeah, factory farming at its greatest. Um, and there it goes. Perfect. All right. So now that we've got ourselves a chicken... Break that lead. Okay. And time for chicken number two. Oh, yeah. This is going to be... I think this is going to work. It's not going to get me all the foods. Like I said, the ham is going to be a problem. But... It's going to get uh, most of them. All right. And whoosh. All right. All right, come here, chicken. There we go. We got, we got you? No. Okay, now we've got you. Okay, perfect. All right, and I believe this should be... There he's in. Wonderful. All right. The last chicken is in the its little pen. Oh, yeah. And see, it's breeding new chickens, which is great. Got the pigs. They're now starting to uh, do good stuff. Cows are filling up. I think this little section of farm, at least as far as getting it primed, is ready to go. All right. Cool. Yeah, eggs are going to be an interesting question because that's that's really what I'm going to be the most uh, curious about is how many eggs they produce in that system because I do need eggs for a number of these recipes but all right I don't want to fill this up yet but okay but we're doing okay and Oh, it's definitely going to be one of those streams where I'm going to be in the bathroom every hour. You know, it's just like, tell me you're an old man without telling me you're an old man. This is this is it right here. All right, but... All right, which is fine. I think I'm going to find a nice uh, safe spot. And... Then I'm going to go take a quick bathroom break and we'll see how the uh, how the animals are doing when I get back okay because I think this is gonna be I like this that elevator bearing that they added oh it's such a wonderful addition to this to uh, create mod all right I will be back in just a moment. Okay, I am back. Oh, sorry about that. Yep, it's definitely just one of those days where it's like, nope. 
my body has decided it doesn't want to it, it just doesn't want to hang on to water. It's just going to send me to the bathroom a lot. All right, so let's head back to the animals over here. And yeah, so this, this should be good. We've got, yeah, we've got piglets growing up. We've got some chickens. And yeah, they should be dropping eggs, which they are, which is good. So we'll see what happens as they get all full, but. Okay, now the one catch with these, of course, it's limited by animal breeding mechanics. So the cows can only, well, any of the animals, you can basically only breed once every five minutes. So these cows are going to go, so about every five minutes, I'll get 12 new babies, which will then crush, like, ooh, there we go, there we go. It'll crush a cow just like that, and we'll start getting drops. Yeah, so this this one is working. The cows are all set up. They're all full, and, yep, there goes another dead cow, and so we, we're collecting beef and leather. Okay, perfect. 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 This design is absolutely going to work, which is great. All right, I'm going to sleep. Because sleeping is good. All right, so. So that's working. We just need to see what happens with these sheep and pigs but I, and chickens. I expect that all to just work. But, Okay. Just double check, make sure these are feeding in the right things. Yeah, that's all the seeds. This should all be carrots. Okay, yep. What do you know? The filters actually work. Okay. Okay, that's nice. That is wonderful. So, we've got ourselves a lovely working animal farm. That's... Okay, yeah, factory farms. It's the wave of the future. Okay, so let's go ahead and just clean all of this stuff off. Okay, and you can tell they're loving it, right? You get all the hearts. The hearts say that the animals are loving it and not at all upset about their cramped conditions. Okay? See, they, it's 100% it's confirmed. The animals love being packed in as tightly as possible into these, these little bitty spaces. Um, see? See all the hearts? Yep. It's a sign. They absolutely love it. Okay. Alright, so again, clean up our mess over here. I'm going to clean that out too, just because... Yeah, that's fine. All right. Cool. So I think um, let's go ahead and get radio links set up everywhere. And oh, this should be good. All right. So that needs to go up on. Come on. I can do it. There we go. I'll. I should probably just get up there with scaffolding, but. Okay. And like that. All right. Nice. Now I have to set them all to receive and, and stuff, but. Okay. But this is all good. Let me clear up some inventory space here real quick. Um, I don't need those seeds. Those can all go in. Uh, dirt I'm done with. Oh, you know what? Let's go put this uh, bit of roof back. And the good news is, too, again, I'm going to get start getting um, all the wool from these sheep, I think. Which means I will then have all the string I need. Which is fine. I don't typically need a lot of string to begin with, but... Okay. There we go. 
but it will be nice to have it. These, uh, this frog needs to be happy that there aren't frog legs in the game. All right. Nice. So that's going to do its thing. Let's go ahead and clean up this. Okay. And we'll put everything away. Okay. All right. Nice. So we got beef. We got mutton. We got pork chops. Cool. I'm going to come up one more block with the... Uh, with this uh, dye right here. Okay, cool. And let's uh, get the stuff in place to program the radios. All right, which means I need a shaft. Cool. And let's grab some raw beef. All right. Yeah, this is this is gonna be fun. Hey, football! Welcome in. Glad to have you here. Hope your days are going well. Okay, scaffold, because that's gonna be a pain in the neck to get to. All right. So, shaft and raw beef. Okay. And we're on receive. Perfect. This one's not doing anything yet, but just get part of this up going. Did I put the radios on the wrong side? I did. Cool. No, no, that that's fine. At least it's easy to uh, fix this mistake. Okay. Okay, so they're all going to be on this side. That's how I wanted it to be. Yeah. Totally didn't screw that up at all. Yeah. Okay. Radio. Radio goes there. It's going to be on receive. And this one is mutton. Do I have? Let's see if I have some raw mutton. I do. Perfect. Perfect. This will be great. We'll slap some mutton in place. Let's see if I've got some raw pork chops. Okay. All right. So the mutton's in there. Pork chops. I have cooked pork chops. That's not going to be helpful. Chicken. Let's go down. I might have some in the kitchen. Let's go see what I've got down there. See if I have some raw chicken and some raw pork chops. I can walk through doors. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll see what I can do here. So let's see. No, not, not in there. In here. Uh, oh. Okay, raw pork chop. That's great. But no chicken. Great. Okay, that's fine. I'll have chicken soon enough. Once it finishes breeding up the chickens I have in there, I'll be drowning in chicken parts, but... All right, so pork chops. Gonna go in. Okay, radio on receive. Yep. Shaft and pork chop. All right. And this one, I don't have the chicken yet, so it'll just have to. Uh, I'll just have to wait till I get chicken. Nice. So cool. Oh, I think we're starting to get sheep bits now. Nice. So cows are working. Sheep are starting. The pigs are 
Gonna take a little time and sort the chickens, but all right, nice. Ah, oh, very nice. Ah, so things are progressing well. The cows I already mentioned are producing. Sheep are starting to uh, get their poor crushed sheep bodies in going on. Uh, the pigs and chickens are still working on it. So let's head down into this area. And I want to start adding entries along the uh, control system for all of the uh, animal bits we've just been doing. That way this, they can check the storage and turn those machines off when I have enough. All right, so let's get, oops, I left my stuff over here somewhere. All right, let's just bring these down here. So keep that with me. All right. Storage and redstone for certain. Uh, so say I had some vegetable soup here a minute ago, and signs. Yes, signs. Let's see. I think I've got all of the. Oh no! I'm going to need some sugar. And some sugar cane and kelp. So we'll put those here. Sugar cane. Is it one word or two? It is two. Okay, cool. And then this will be sugar. Cool. And then this will be kelp. And dried kelp. Which I'll... I'll have to deal with when the time comes. All right. So now, over here... Um, yeah. We can start doing... All of the meats going across... You know, for the moment, I think I want to leave these two empty. I had one set up for downstairs for quartz. I might move that up here, actually. Oh, I left my bed up here, too. So that's a possibility. I'm also going to need to deal with um, squid and some other things, so... Yeah, because I'm going to need a squid farm, and I'm going to need a fish farm. Um, and that's going to be a bit of a challenge, getting all of those automated. Um, yeah, so we'll figure out how that goes. But, so we'll do this uh, raw beef. Okay, we'll just, let's do it this way. Raw. Workshops. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and put this here too. Raw chicken. All right, nice. So this is gonna work out great. Um, Grab some inventory cable, grab some level emitters. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and run some cable up this way. Come on, I can do it. I can do it. There we go. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up for, um, wow, that's right, and I'm going to fall down here. Um, I'm going to set this up so I won't ha use quite as many um, resources like I've got with the veggies. Like the vegetables, I've got like 20,000. I don't know that I'm going to go quite that high with the, with the animals. I was going to say, I know a, a cable got placed somewhere. There it is. All right. 
Come on. I can do it. I can click on things. Perfect. All right. So let's grab some more scaffolding and let's uh, get all of this control. Oh, oh, oh. All this control stuff in place. Okay. So those are going to go there. And now we've got this stuff. I should bring all of this up this way too, but just to uh, future proof things, right? Sometimes it's nice to plan ahead. All right. And I have no idea what I'm going to be putting there, but for now, We'll just uh, set those emitters that way. Cool. All right. Now, this is going to be great. Um, okay. Done with the scaffolding. Okay. So those are going there. It helps if you put things in the right place. Okay. All right, so how much do I want to do with this stuff? So this one is going to be raw beef. So let's say much raw beef. Uh, let's let's go with three thousand three thousand raw beef here. Beef, and I know I spelled that wrong. It's okay. Three thousand raw beef. And then down here, we'll do, um, we'll stop at 3,000 minced beef, okay? Because I'm doing ingredients, so minced beef, okay? Right, okay, and now this one. Okay, it will be raw mutton chops. Okay. All right, so the same thing here. It's going to be 3,000. Um, and because I can spell mutton chops, or, well, just mutton. Anyway. And the same thing here, 3,000 mutton chops. Okay. All right, and this is raw bacon, because that's what you get when, uh, yes, to get raw bacon, you slice up pork chops, so. Okay, so we'll get 3,000, and I love bacon. Bacon is delicious. Can't eat too much of it, because that causes other problems, but. Good stuff, that. Okay, and the 3,000. Bacon! Have you ever heard Jim Gaffigan's stand-up routine about bacon? Oh, yeah, that's all sorts of fun. Okay. All right. Chicken. It's going to be raw chicken. Maybe 3,000 of those. Not 13,000, 3,000. And raw chicken cuts. Okay. All right. And raw chicken cuts. Again, 3,000 of those. Okay. Okay. Raw chicken cuts. All right. Nice. Now... Oh, I've got to set up radios on all of this stuff. Okay, that's fine. I have radios. Okay, now, radios. Perfect. All right, so the radios go there. Oops, nope, got to crouch. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, these machines are going to uh, handle all of this stuff for me. All right, this is what turns on and off the different uh, automation systems, right? Okay. And we're good there. All right, nice. All right, so that's not on. This is pork. So we'll go ahead and slap that radio there. All right. Nice. And now, okay, so I need raw. Okay, raw beef, raw mutton. And I don't have raw chicken yet, so we'll have to deal with that. But that's fine. So this is the beef. Okay, that's programmed. Raw mutton. That's this one programmed. Cool. We'll deal with the chicken in a moment. Raw. Raw, raw, raw. Okay. And I'm going to need some more pork chops, but it's going to have to wait a minute. Where's my controls? There they are. Okay. Nice. Kind of wish I could just put stuff in my toolbox when it's in my inventory, but sadly, that's not how that's going to work. All right. Let's go see if I have some more pork chops yet. Not yet. We're getting there, though. And we're getting more chickens, which is fabulous. Yeah, the carrots are doing their thing. It's got carrots. Okay. Yeah, and that'll just happen exponentially faster, is it? Uh, until the pork chops are all doing their pork choppy business. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Leather, beef. Oh, this is perfect. All right, let's head down to the kitchen. I want to see if I have another pork chop. And I want to slice up these ones. Um, or at least enough of these to get representative samples. Because I, I need to be able to program in the radios, right? I do have another pork chop. Perfect. All right. So, le okay. Uh, Slicer. Perfect. One, two. Ooh, get in there. And three. All right. Nice. So we've got minced and mutton. And one thing that I don't need. Um, cool. All right. Or don't, it's not that I don't need it. I don't have room for it. That's the, that's the word I'm looking for. <sighs> okay. Sweet. This is it's doing great. All right. Yes, we'll have chicken soon. But for now, we've got these. So let's get the radios programmed up. Oh, man, this is going to be, this is going to be fun. We're going to have ourselves a nice little bit of, uh, okay, so that one's all programmed. That one's programmed. And that one's not because I don't have the chickens yet. Cool. All right. Nice. Yeah, so there it goes. Yep. Dead cows. Yep, this is going to be great. I'm just waiting till, uh, just making sure everything is what I need it to be before I start connecting it to the system. And so I can get in and get what I need out of stuff. But, all right. 
Well, while we're waiting, uh, these are raw mutton chops. That goes there. The raw bacon goes there. And the raw minced beef is going to come right there. Okay. So, yeah, so those are all set and programmed and... And that's wonderful. 3,000 be enough? I probably, probably will be enough. I suppose, I suppose I could jack this up to 6,000. That might be okay. 6,000 is basically a double chest. Okay. All right. Cool, cool. So, we are in good shape there. Let's go see how our chickens are doing. Yeah, we're definitely, definitely getting chickens. Oh yeah, they're, they're getting good. And they're definitely providing eggs. Uh, said it'll be interesting to see what the egg production is like as they start uh, getting killed off. But I think we'll be okay. Do I have mending? I don't have mending on my axe. It's okay. It's just fine. All right. Nice. So let's go do... Let's go set up the uh, slice and dice portion of this uh, this fun deal. Because that'll be fun too. All right. Let's head down to the workshop. Now. Yeah. We'll, we'll see about some other things. But. While we're waiting for the uh, chickens and pigs and stuff to really get their act together, um, let's get down here and maybe deal with some... That's the wrong box. Storage. And let's uh, start getting these all programmed so that I can add all of the, uh, the, the raw meat that comes out of the animal and run it through here and get it all sliced up. Yeah, that makes sense. Something. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that's most of what I need. Um, I don't have any of the... Uh, I need more stone brick. I don't have any more... Uh, what's it? I don't have any fish. That's, I think that's the other thing that needs to fall through the slice and dice uh, filter, but. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right, so now what we'll have come out of these are all the raw stuff. So beef mutton, pork chops. And then over here, grab redstone, toolbox. Where are all my radios? Ah, darn it. I think it goes there. Um, did I have a bunch? Did I throw them back in my machine, in my storage system? It's possible. It wouldn't be the first time I did something silly like that. Let's see what I got. No? Oh, there they all are. Again, losing them in my inventory. Wonderful. Cool. See, I'm, I'm good at this. 
All right. All right. So now we're going to have ourselves a merry little Christmas, maybe? I don't know. All right. Go ahead and just put all of them. Oh, nope, that's not where that goes at all. Okay. And I believe I set them up in the same order, so this should be... Ah, no, this should be... Minced beef here. And then this should be... Mutton chops there. And then this one should be... Bacon. Cool. Nice. So that should all be set up. Now I don't have really anything in the in that inventory, so. Okay. I had a little bit. Okay. Yep, I just had a little bit because I didn't have any, everything hooked into all of the uh, the storage, but we're we're good. Good. Okay, all well, that's done. All right. So yeah, I need to get down here and program this with the chicken, but I don't have the chicken yet. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Oh yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be great as all of this uh, gets automatically sliced by the machines once we're hooked up. Oh yeah, good stuff. I will eventually then be able to feed some of that cooked stuff through the smokers but I don't have any real need to do that at the moment, so. Plus, most of the recipes use the raw foods. So I'm not going to need to do much else. I mean, I suppose I could add the mutton chops and stuff. I should add the mutton chops and stuff, the cooked ones, to various bits and bobs, but... Okay, so that's all in there. I think I'm done with the raw things. Okay, all right, I'm pretty sure I'm done with the trap doors as well. Okay, yeah, this is... Oh yeah, pork chops are happening. Eggs are happening, but the uh, chicken is not. All right, cool, that's fine. That is totally fine because not uh, too worried about it at the moment, but once it's all set up, I can set the eggs in place. Okay, I'm not, I don't think I can, I can't really stop the eggs. Can't really stop egg production because the uh, well, the, the animals are just, the chickens are just going to keep laying eggs. There's not much I can do about that. But, there we go. That should be enough light. Yeah. We'll just drop a torch under, in each middle. There we go. That'll keep that well enough lit. And I probably should put a little bit of something through here too, but. It's Okay. I'll leave the stone cutter so I can do some other things, but. Oh, this is, this is nice. I like it. Did I leave my bed somewhere again? I did. I need to re remember to pick this thing up from time to time, you know? That would be super helpful. All right. So we've got ourselves some. Happy meats. Oh, this is wonderful. 
Once I get all of that done, I may be able to start doing some other fun on me. Oh, there we go. The chicken is starting to happen. Ooh, feathers. That's right. Feathers are going to be a drop, too. Okay. Cool. Can I reach that? Not in a consistent way. All right. That's fine. Okay, let's just get up here. We'll uh, slap that in place. Get the uh, get all this stuff labeled and okay, it's gonna be great. So yeah, raw chicken is in there. Nice. We'll slice one up. So we get the chicken chops, whatever they call them, and get everything else programmed here. This is cool. I've been trying to think too, come up with ideas of what I want to have happening here in the middle. And I don't know. I don't know. Part of me is thinking, you know, it could be cool if uh, I could put seeding or something down there. Oh, and you get some bone meal from it too. Okay, cool. Yeah, I could put and actually make that part of the restaurant space. Um, part of me, is, I've thought too but maybe putting um i don't know kelp farm or sugar farm or something down there that could be cool i could put the honey farm down there too because i'm gonna have to build oops, gonna have to build one of those as well all right so this one chicken and chicken cuts there all right, and now let's get into the uh, storage. These colors are not quite bright enough. All right. Perfect. Okay, that's wonderful. I don't know, do I need feathers for anything? Aside, I mean, I don't need them for arrows because I can just buy arrows. Yeah, I mean, I can auto-craft them into a brush. I guess books and quills, schematics. Yeah, we'll see. If I end up getting too many, I suppose I can just toss them, but... All right, so that's a thing. Can totally, uh, totally worry about later. All right, so chicken cuts go there. Raw chicken is there. Perfect. Oh yeah, this is this is perfect. And actually, getting the bone meal is going to be good too, because I need it for a couple of things. All right, but yeah, this is okay. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, this is this is great. And these are all set up now. They are completely full. You just saw a chicken go. Yep, so I'm starting to uh, get some chicken and feathers. See, pork chops are happening. There's the mutton and there's the steak. Awesome, so that is all working the way I need it to. So let's go ahead and connect these things up to the main storage. Okay, so that's gonna connect. We'll connect here and here and there. Okay, so now what should happen, you should start seeing those, all of that start to decrease as it gets sucked into the storage. At least that's the theory, that one's going down. That one's not. I'm kind of curious why. I'll, that one's going down. Could be some other weirdness, but I'll figure that out in a minute. But... All right. I'll, as I said, I'll figure that out in a minute. But let's head downstairs and take a look at the uh, choppy choppy bits.
may have to check something else out, but all right. Okay, so the radio links we set up before, and now, yep, there we go. We can see anytime we get some raw foods coming in, they're getting fed through the slicer. Right now, it looks like it's burger getting sliced up. Nice, so we've got plenty of, of minced beef for good stuff. Now, all of those raw cutlets, right? The cuts, the beef patties, all that stuff, I can then feed through the smoker to cook. But I'm going to wait to deal with that automation for a little bit. But for now, I think we're in a really good place. I wonder if I accidentally set a filter on that hopper. That would probably be the reason. Okay. Cool. So let's go double check that. Okay, so I should be able to this one. Okay, it's scaffolding apparently. Cool. That would explain why it's not working. Okay, and then we should be able to slap that there. Perfect. Now that's all going to come out. Yep, it was just a filter. Nice. So we've got ourselves a uh, happy farm going on here. And again, I know it's happy because all of the animals are spitting out hearts. Okay, so we've got, I think we've got all we need for this one. Um, nice. Let's uh, give this a minute to drain, but let's head downstairs and just see what we're at as far as uh, stuff. Oh, that's the other thing is I can go through and <coughs> oh, excuse me. I do need to set up an egg filter. I need one for so I can't stop the regular eggs from coming in, but I do need to set one so I can cook a certain amount of fried eggs. And I don't know if I want to do that here or if I want to do that. This is one of those weird ones where it's just one of a thing. So I don't know. I'm going to let's uh, we'll put some ham here. We'll do cooked ham here. Right, because that's, I think that's what they call them. Ham, oh, smoked ham, not cooked, smoked ham. Which also sounds delicious. Okay, so eventually that's where that's going to go. Okay, so there's no reason to control the eggs, but... Um, Fired? Let's try fried. Fried eggs can go there, and we'll set off to figure out something else. We'll have a few other things, but ooh, it looks like we're lit up on some of this stuff. Nice. Oh, yeah, we're full up on baked potatoes, which is good. Pumpkin slices and cabbage leaves we're all full up on. Nice. You know, I could, even though I'm not doing any radio control on it. At least for the moment, I might, uh, oops, I don't have to take the sign down. I can just edit it. We'll just uh, measure so I'll be able to see when it's full, even though I'm not doing anything with it. Okay, that makes sense. All right. And I do have a few inventory cables, a couple of level emitters. Okay. 
Definitely have to craft up some of those in my free time. Okay. Yeah, so level emitter, level emitter. And again, we'll just set this to 3,000, even though we're not doing anything with them. Um, spawn eggs are not what I'm looking for. Cool. And then this one's going to be fried eggs. And let's do... I don't think I need a lot of fried eggs for things, right? There are a couple of things. There's a egg sandwich and there's a bacon and eggs meal, but so let's just do, we'll just do 500 fried eggs. That should be enough for what I need. This one, again, I'm not doing any sort of control on, so that's cool. Okay. Ah, nice, 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 nice. We're going to get all of the good stuff. Uh, Yeah, redstone toolbox. I'm going to have one radio link here, but... X, fried X. Okay, so that's going to go there. All right. Boom. Yeah, I said I, I, I suppose what I could do, no, because if I'm full on eggs, it's all in the same hopper. That makes it tough, so. But I could do a thing. Let's, I'm going to go ahead and just set it up. I don't think it's going to make a whole lot of difference, but let's go ahead and set it up for egg. Down here. Okay. Egg. Go and grab a st uh, yeah stack of eggs. Because what I c can do potentially is yeah those things because eggs only stack to sixteen. So let's maybe make this a thousand eggs. Okay. I don't remember what fried egg stack too, but we'll go that way. And no, actually eggs are going to take a lot. I've got storage. I'm not worried about it. Let's we'll just do that. All right. And we'll go set up one more thing so we can generate some fried eggs. This is going to be, this is going to be fun. Or at least as fun as all the other stuff, but it's, I, I just geek out over this. Like, oh, look, we've got fully automated stuff, and this is awesome. I love when I have fully automated stuff. Even if it's something like fried eggs that I don't like, um, I still like the fact that I can automate the production of it. Now, the fried eggs are a smoker item. Dude, what are you doing up there? All right, that's, that's okay, fine, fine. All right, so I'm gonna need a the redstone toolbox and probably something else, but. Oh yeah, the storage toolbox. I got it, I got it, my, my brain works sometimes. All right. So we'll set up another one of those on receive. Okay. So this filter right here is going to be egg. Right? Cool. And then let's uh, let's just cook an egg up real quick so I've got a fried egg to add to my filters. Oh, nope. This is the place. All right, let's smoke a handful of eggs. Nice, and what we should see here is just a moment. At least that's the hope, is... Let's take it a moment. There we go, fried eggs. 
perfect. Provide a lot of uh, nourishment on their own, but they're great in other things, so. We'll go with that. All right. Nice. Okay, so fried eggs right there. Okay, perfect. All right. So I've added a, another module here. This is going to be for uh, fried eggs. Because, hey, they're good for, with breakfast, I suppose. So we'll set that up. And now we should see, yep, eggs are going that way. And if we swing over here, yeah, now you can see them cooking in the, the smoker. And we're going to get all sorts of fried eggs. Okay, yes, this is going to be fabulous. I have curiosity. Bread. Okay. So bread. Okay. Oh, bread I could just cook dough. Ooh. That might be better than setting up a whole machine. So, yeah, once I'm creating dough, I can feed that to the smoker for bread. Okay. Nice. So I may have to lengthen this line a bit. Dude, you ended up in a weird place. Can we back you out? Okay. Yeah, there we go. You're, you're going to be back there. Okay. I guess I'm going to be back here now. Um, cool. All right. Whatever is happening with that golem. Nice, nice, nice. So let's I'm gonna come up here for a minute. And I want to take a look and see what all I'm crossing off my list here. Because I've got a fair amount of stuff now that I'm automating. So let's see. I've got most of... Okay, so I've now crossed off raw beef. Raw chicken, raw pork, raw mutton. That's four. And then fried eggs is five. And I can do the beef patties, but I could actually cook all of those. So that'll add another five or ten. But at the moment, I've... Uh, Okay, no, at the moment, we're good. We've crossed off another another five things off the list. Which is awesome. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. So, yeah, so eggs. Eggs are definitely cooking. And look at all that good stuff in there. Oh, the raw bacon, chicken, and and the, the beef, of course, comes up as a separate. They call it minced instead of raw, but. Oh, we're, we're getting there. We're getting all of the good stuff cooked up. Oh, this is great. All right, so let's come up here, see if I want to do any more decorating on this, but I think... I think open door. Okay. Okay, so this is good. I mean, I could just come out here with some dirt and flatten this all out. So we can see that. And I think maybe hmm. could do a little bit of, of something out here too, but if I want to, oh, actually what I could do is come out here with some viridium, excuse me. Um, yeah, that might, that might work. Grab some cut viridium. And I think I want to stick that, 
stick that in a couple of places here just to, uh, you know, make things kind of look nice. Um, yeah. So we're, I'm just going to run some Viridium right through here. So I collect all of this XP. Okay. And so I'll need to expand out the sides here just a touch. Okay. Yeah, I need. I guess I should do the Viridium all the way up. I thinking maybe I can get away with it, but I can't really because of the glass. Well, that's fine. That is totally fine. Okay. Nope, I can't can't do that. All right, I'm going to yeah, let's just I'm going to come down here. We're going to encase a bunch of stuff in in viridium. It's I haven't I didn't af officially make it a thing, but it's kind of getting to a point where if I have something automated, it's got viridium around it and if it's not automated, it's, or decorative or something, it's crimsite, but, okay, I'm going to leave the trap doors just because, but, it kind of works, okay, nice, bedtime. Okay, of course, once I cover this up, I'm not going to be able to uh, just easily walk under there anymore, but that's eh, okay. This isn't designed to be a normal entryway. All right, so the Viridium is there. I need some deep slates, some of that. Perfect. Um, grass. Let's grab a couple of stacks of that. And do I need... Um, I don't know if I need more. I don't think I need more diorite. So let's get up there and we'll finish this box and we should be good to go. Okay. Make sure I'm good across all of that. All right. Now some of this will get converted because of the spruce and that's okay. All right. Oh boy, this is This will be cool. Also, you know, that's in the wrong spot, but you know, sometimes Yeah, but I can just walk up here and there will almost always be a little bit of XP here. So if I need a a quick hit, I can do that. It's not going to be as good as, as an actual XP farm of some sort, but that's okay. Now, I do want to be sure I've got that all uh, lit up, so I'll get in from underneath and double check that. Okay. Yeah, this is cool. This this is great. Oh man. Sorry. The the excitement knows no bounds here, apparently. The grass does, but the excitement not so much. <clears throat> okay. All right, so now, how, how are my light levels? <clears throat> okay, but not great. Okay, and we'll take this in there like that. And 
think should probably get some um, crimsite pillars for the outside of this. Oh, that's going to be... That's a lot of entities in that one place with all of those animals, but... Yeah, let's just go to the... Oops, no, warehouse. Okay, yep, every once in a while. It's a thing. All right, so I guess I'm... I might grab a little bit more glass. That's fine. Um, what was I looking for? Oh, right. I need a, a little bit of crimsite. All right. And this will fill this all in. Also, I want to come up here and let's just double check that I haven't created a dark spot or something under here. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We are totally good. Okay. Nice. All right. I think this will be it. And once this is all done, I think that'll be it for the stream today. But. Okay. That'll go up to. Sure. Okay, and this is one of those times where, hey, you know what? It only looks good from the front. But we're okay with that. Okay, so that goes there, that goes there. All right, you know what? Let's move those signs just because I think it's going to look better if we do. We'll put the signs up above the... Yeah, above the cells here. Not that I probably really need to label them, but I'm going to anyway. Um, pork chops. Okay. And mutton. And beef. Okay, uh, you know, I should... I guess I could come over here and put uh, chicken and, whoops, wrong button. Okay. Chicken and eggs. All right, nice. Okay, that away. Yeah, I may build that up just a little bit more just to uh, add to the decorations, but I think we're okay. So there it is. My there's my meat farm. The only thing I'm not getting right now is ham because I think that's a, a you have to kill the pigs in a very specific way. But otherwise, we're getting all of the foods we need from this and or at least all the meat. So I am well on my way to getting this uh, to getting my restaurant fully automated with all of the foods I need. Okay, this is this is good. Yeah, as I build this up, yeah, I think it is going to be in the way a little bit of the spruce, especially if I build up a building up and around to this. But for now, I think it's okay. And yeah, I'm tempted. I've got a couple of things I do need to get uh, that are food related, right? I I need to get milk. But that I only need, like, a single cow for. A cow or maybe two. Um, and then the ham, which is going to be... So that's a thing. The fish, that's a whole separate deal that I can't do up on top of the hill. That is going to require setting up a uh, squid and, and fish farm. And I'm curious, what do I have... I have a lot of water around here. Um, Cause I'm not quite on an island, but I'm on a fairly significant uh, peninsula. All right, so I'm gonna have to figure out where I wanna put some form of 
squid and fish factory because I do need the squid for uh, for ink sacks because squid ink is a thing in a couple of the recipes. And then the cod and salmon. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. I don't, I don't think I want to set up a fish farm over here. If I decide to do it, I may put it back around in this area just so it's not quite so visible from the rest of the farm. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely going to take some some thought. And that is just in case you ever wanted to see the smallest uh, swamp in the world. Yeah, there it is. All right. Nice. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and record an outro for a video I wasn't entirely intending to make today, but we'll we'll go with it. <sighs> and that is going to do it for the video today. Thank you all so much. And, you know, this is going to be great. I can start crafting recipes with the meats and stuff. Oh, it's going to be awesome. And... If you had fun, you like automation, like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. And until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music for Gaming signing off. All right. And that, I guess, is the end of a video. Um, cool. Might be a little bit shorter video, but it's it'll be good. Yeah, I was thinking I tried to do something more complicated with these animals. But ultimately just decided that, yeah, we'll just go with uh, entity cramming and we'll call it good from there. Cause... Yep. Just a nice little XP source. <laughs> I don't have mending on my armor, except for my diving boots. Cool. All right, so now I'm kind of curious. Um, there. Let's drop back down. I'm gonna. I'm just kind of curious to see where we're at with the, uh, with all of the food production. How many we've, how many we've gotten so far. This is gonna be fun. Um, Let's see, so beef, yeah, 414. Right now it's all getting minced. I don't have any raw because it's, if I get any, it goes straight to, to all of that. But, yeah, mutton chops, chicken, bacon. And now remember, each of these is doubled because you get two f from slicing up each of uh, the regular raw materials. So that's good. And of course, eggs. And the eggs are cooking. Also, leggings. Cool. Well, this is good. It's obviously, it's a, uh, maybe not the most uh, animal friendly thing in the world, but actually, I'm kind of curious. Can I build? Do I have blaze? I do have a blaze rod. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Grab some blaze powder. Do I have ender pearls? I do not. Let's craft up some ender pearls. I want to to get a couple of ender chests. Let's just um. Oh, I guess I can get the iron from here. That's right. I have full access to everything from up here. Okay, leads. Um, oh, where's my redstone toolbox? All right, and the storage toolbox. All right, um, iron. Okay, that'll work. Do I have obsidian? I don't have a lot of obsidian. Okay, I've got enough for a, a chest, but yeah, I'm going to have to, uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to just get some obsidian. Good news is I can technically farm it with create mod. Okay. Oh, here are those. Hi guys. I need iron. Okay. Actually, I need emeralds. You can You guys can use the iron. That's fine. All right, and then I need ender pearls. Okay. I think my I think my clerics are all trained up. Yeah, I think they're all masters. Yep. Nice. That will do it. All right, so now I can make a couple of eyes of ender and ender. I make a couple of those, and I can make an an ender chest. Awesome. Cool. So I could put all of the, my toolboxes in there, and that will that will make things a little nicer. All right, cool. Well, that's, oh, that is really nice. Grab some soup. Oh yeah, so you can just look down, watch all the stuff going on. Yeah, because I get all the other stuff going. Oh, this is gonna be good. But I think next week I'm gonna work on some, uh, Ah, some other stuff. I don't know what, but probably maybe some mixers and things. Maybe kelp and sugar farm. Because I, I could definitely use all of those things. I don't know. We'll take a look and see. But until next time, I think this is going to be it for today. Um, webcam. Ah, uh, yes. Lots of fun. Lots of excitement. Lots of automation. And lots of meats. And meat is good. I, I'm a big fan of meat, so this was good. Um, anything else? No, nah, follow me over on the things. Like, subscribe, you know the drill. And until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music Free Gaming signing off.